tripping. Ah! What it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD, and today we're coming at you with a video simply titled How to Break Up with a Cheating Girlfriend. Now, apparently, this was a really good, uh, it was a real good revenge prank or something that this guy did to his girlfriend who he caught cheating on him. Mm. So, without further ado, we're just gonna get into it. Now, I'm here. You guys don't watch the original video, it's about live concerts. Links in the description down below. Let go. As you know, me and Alex have um, announced our engagement, etc, etc. What Alex doesn't know is a fan that she's been having an affair. So she put all the engagement up, invited everybody, we've been a book, we've done everything for this wedding. It's all a sham. I know, believe me, I've seen all the messages on her phone. All the dirty text messages, all the dirty pictures that she sends him whilst out with me, photograph, photographing herself in toilets. But, this is the clever bit. I've kept my mouth shut, and I'm setting her up. What? How are you, how are you so calm? That's crazy, he didn't say nothing. So now what's going to happen is today, in about two hours at 1.30, she claims to love me, etc, 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 and all this bullshit wedding. So, this next bit is where I'm going to propose to her today, and this is what's going to happen. Here we go. So she's going to walk through this door in about two hours' time, and then what she's going to do is, as you, oh, sorry, as you can see here, this is letter number four. That's the one explaining that I know about the affair and everything, blah, 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 blah. This is where she thinks she's going tomorrow night. She thinks I'm going to fly her out Northern Lights and take her to an igloo and propose to her. But first, there's my little rhyme that I'm going to read to her. In here, it says, when owls fly and twitter, twitter, twoo, this is the big question I'm asking you. Then when she opens it, inside it says, who the f*** is Thomas Rue? Watch her face when she opens that red love heart. Okay? So that's how we're going to do it. Oh my God. I'm so intrigued. He's got me. I'm going to, I'm going to see this so bad. So she's going to walk through this door here. She's going to go up this romantic setting that I've done. Look, isn't that beautiful? All nice little candles. There's glitter. Little love arts. Look at all this glittery love arts. Look, oh, what a beautiful setting. So she's going to then walk into the bedroom here. And I'm going to place the phone here. So on that bed there, about there, that's where she's going to be sat. And she's going to read letter number one which is on the pillow. I'm also going to make her wear antlers and a red nose, just to make her look really stupid. And I've also got a, a Haribo engagement ring. While she's reading that, I will leave my phone here, videoing her. But, I'm going to tell her that I'm going downstairs to blow the candles out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the other letters, and I'm going to plan me escape route to get out of the house before she boots off. Hopefully she'll still be reading letter number one. It is quite long, so bear with me on that bit. The reason it's long is to stall her. I'm then going to tell her that she's going to Northern Lights, her face is going to light up, and then she's going to read the love art. I'm probably going to be stood about here. All the candles will be blown out. My body is so ready, yo. So she can't blame me for burning the house down. I'm then going to say to her, read number four, where's my finger? Read number four, and open that box there. She could have had this at any moment in time, any moment in time, from day one. That is my house key. So, in case the police say, you've still got a key? No, I haven't. My door key is in this box. And the reason for it is I always say to her, never cheat on me. Just tell me to walk away like Becky did, and I won't cause you any hassle. So, people, I will see you all when my supposedly future wife walks through this very door. Right, come on. I'll blow all candles out. Oh, buddy. I'll clean everything up. Let's just gently get on the bed, bed and then read letter number one. Yo! So I'm going to blow these candles out, okay? Like I said, babe, from day one, I've always had this. You've got to put your ankles on. Put your ankles on. <laughs> Yo! Like bed, no. I'm not quite now. All right. Yo! So, in that box, up the box. <laughs> right, 
<laughs> so my lady, tomorrow night, you and I will take a flight. We will float around with open lights, watching the colours shine so bright. Then when we are landing down on the ground, where our cabin igloo shall be found, we will look up above. The stars will see just how lucky we both will be. When I ask you the question down on one knee, you dear Alex will be mine for eternity. And that's why we're there. Oh my god! So, Yo, and you gotta remember, like, she's while out with him going into toilet stalls and taking pics to the pub, you know what I mean, and then sending them to other homie, you know what I mean, like, she's mad and, like, crazy disrespectful about it, yo. <sighs> Man. When you finish reading that, babe, you need to read number four, open number five, I'm just gonna work downstairs, that's all, I wanna know. When I was flying, then tweet to him. This is the question I'm asking you. Help me help. Who the f is Thomas Rue? Now read number four. Mm. It's proof I'm locking the door. And that is how you do it. So, no damage. I'm now gonna get in my car. I'm gonna film myself driving away. Busted. And went back and killed it. <laughs> and now we are going to watch another video of someone getting caught cheated on. I haven't watched this one in a long time, but I'm pretty sure it's not on the internet anymore since the video got deleted back in the day. And I haven't heard. Woody and Rizzuto. All right, Woody and Riz, and right before the break, we were going into our Valentine's Day segment. We had some other stuff planned, but screw that, buddy. <laughs> Chris called in. Yeah, hold on. Let's get uh, Chris back on the line. Hey, Chris, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, I'm going to recap quickly for everybody who's uh, just tuning in. So Chris called us up, said that he uh, had an initial plan to, who, to propose to his girlfriend on Sunday, on Valentine's Day. Now, how, how long have you guys been together? Five years. Five years. All right, so she's... Thir I don't think I've heard this or seen this before. This might be a different one. Early expecting it. Now, he's been hearing from some of her friends. I guess she found the ring at some point. So she's yeah. been going around uh, saying they're Telling all her friends. and This is the weekend. This is the he's weekend. He's propose. Right. Doing, you know, this is what girls do. They get excited about it when they think it's coming. Well, but, especially uh, on Valentine's Day. Now, here's the thing. Chris also found out that uh, she's been seen out in town with this guy who she's always claimed was her friend. Just a friend. This guy named Eric, right? Yep. Now, I had asked Chris how he knew that there was something actually going on. I mean, having coffee or a meal with somebody is not necessarily cheating, but apparently they were seen making out and doing other things. So uh, that's enough. Hey, whatever. If, if that's if that's your line, like some people go, oh, listen, it's just a kiss. We've been getting you know, some people on the text saying, oh, it's not a big deal. This guy's freaking out over a kiss. But, I mean, listen, cheating's cheating. Whatever you define kiss. in your relationship is cheating. Like, I'd be pissed if my wife was making out. A kiss is enough to set me off with some other dude. So I suggested a drive-by whoring, but apparently he, that's not good enough. No, so Chris, I guess, was going to dump her on Sunday, but then he thought, hey, how can I really crush, crush this bitch's soul? Let's call Woody and Riz, and maybe I could dump her live on the air. So uh, you just keep in mind, Chris, I do have to let her know that she is live on the air. So, I mean, hopefully this works out and she doesn't get to, you know, I, I think I have an idea on how to keep her on the line so she won't freak out. I can't just say, hey, Chris wants to talk to you no well there are a couple people also texting in with their suggestions yeah. as well i got ideas all right so chris are you ready sure are you yeah. sure you want to do this yes i'm you I'm, may be going down a dark path chris. Okay, i'm just saying five years is a long time and like you 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 are you sure you want to dump her yeah i'm positive that i want to dump her all right well here hang on i'm gonna don't say anything okay okay uh we're gonna call her right now Hmm. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> you got this? Remember, Chris, don't say anything. Hello? Hi, is this Ashley? Yeah, this is Ashley. Ashley, it's Woody and Riz from 1057 The Point. How are you? Okay, how are you? How the hell are you? You sound uh, you sound confused. Are you okay? We're uh, by the way, before we go any further, we are live on the radio right now. You're kidding. 
No, we are on the air. Are you uh, are you a listener of their show? You know our show? Um. Well, I know your show. I can't say I'm a listener. My boyfriend's a big fan of yours, but uh, but I, I'm not a listener myself. Do you know what I mean? So you don't I hear listen. You. Yeah, well, she's a woman. She doesn't listen, of That's course. That's true. Well, she doesn't listen in general, and then she doesn't listen to the show. All right, well, Ashley, listen, you know, Valentine's Day is on Sunday. And uh, here's the deal. We're doing a segment on the show this morning about the most creative ways to propose to your wife or girlfriend. Now, we had another one of your friends call in. Do you have a friend named Melissa? I do have a friend named Melissa. Melissa called in and told us, that you are getting engaged this weekend. Now, how do you know this for sure? I can't, okay, first of all, I can't believe she called and told you that because I told her under strict confidence. But, um, well, I've been with my boyfriend for about five years now. Yeah. And, uh, well, uh, that's not the only reason. I I kind of stumbled across a ring. All right, so you were snooping. Of course she was. Ring. All right, now, that's not important. That's not the reason that, we're, uh, that we want to talk to you this morning. Gypsies and shysters. All right. I mean, they're, they all snoop, but here's the thing. That's not the reason we're calling. We're calling because we're doing a segment on the most creative ways to propose. So we figured that if your boyfriend is listening, maybe he can get some ideas on what would be the ultimate proposal. Like, what, like to you, like, what would be the ultimate proposal? Like, not like a scoreboard thing, right? That's kind of, you know. Oh, no, no. Or, 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 ra- or a ring and a glass of champagne at dinner or in your dessert, right? No, because then it gets messed up. Like, who wants a ring with cake all over it or mousse or whatever, right? Right. Um, no, I, I, I have to say that my tastes are pretty simple. Um, I mean, it, I guess it... Like, how would the evening go? Would it be during the day or at night? Oh, definitely at night. Definitely right. at night, because that's just more romantic. But. Like a down, so, on, a down on one knee kind of thing? Yeah, how's the evening go? Do you go, to, go, you go to dinner first, like to a nice dinner, or are you guys just like going to like a favorite kind of hole-in-the-wall Chinese place? I think, I mean, that's not even so much. I think like dinner happens before, yeah, for sure. But, but where isn't maybe as important? I mean, hopefully there's some candlelight and it's like a nice place, but, but I, I just I, I couldn't bear a public proposal. I don't know why, even though I know I want to be with him forevermore. So you're not into like the get down on one knee thing in front well, of the whole restaurant and everybody claps, but, but not in a public place just because I don't know why. Are you sure? It's private. Yeah, Are you sure? Please. Would you say? Let me ask you. Would you say no if it happens? No, way? no, God, no. But I just I get embarrassed. Like I just that sort of for me is embarrassing. So a, a really beautiful dinner and then. Some moment on the way home or when we're alone together. Ashley? Ashley? Yeah? We have a uh, surprise for you this morning. On the line with us right now is Ashley's boyfriend, Chris. Chris, hey, welcome to the Chris. show. Oh, my God. And uh, Chris has something he would like to ask you. Um, Chris, are you there? I'm here. I'm here. Hey. Oh, my God. Um. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh. Well, Ashley, we we've, we've been together for you know five years now, and uh, I've I've really loved you with all of my heart, and um, you know I dreamed of of spending the rest of my life with you, and I saw kids, I saw a future, um, and and I felt that way since the day I met you. Um, <clears throat> I guess I just have have one thing to ask you then. Uh, um, um, how long please, would it take please, for you to move a, all of your... I need to take a deep breath here. Can I just have a second <laughs> to take a deep breath? Yeah, please take a deep breath. I'm kind of freaking out. Hey, Ashley, you know you're on the air right now. You're live, right? I know. You told me that. She's okay. getting the vapors. Yeah, and you're, this is a very public thing right now. Are you, are you still okay with it? You just said that you wouldn't want a big public spectacle. Well, you know... I'm going to take it. I'll take it however it comes. Yeah, you will. Yeah, she will. Well, why, more public than this. Oh boy, will she? <laughs> Take it however it comes. Oh, I bet she does. She looks like a. She looks like a giver. <laughs> deep breath and uh, just take a deep breath here, and, and uh, just let me finish. All right. All right. I, I guess the the big the big question here that I want to ask you, Ashley, is how long will it take for you to get all your crap out of my house? <laughs> What? Ashley? <clears throat> Ashley, are you there? I, I... Is this some kind of joke? No, it's not a joke. How long will it take you? Because you got until Sunday. He gave her a day? 
Bro, he, man, I... Ooh, he's nice. What? Oh. Ashley, are you there? What is... I don't understand what is going on right now. He's really? dumping... You don't understand? A Ashley, he's You're dumping you. Hey, hey, why, why don't you answer a few more questions, Ash? Um, so, uh, seen out twice this week, twice with Eric. What's that about? Who's Eric, Ashley? He's a good friend of mine from forever ago. We... Okay, okay, when you say good friend, I, I just want to be really clear here. When you say good friend, does that mean making out in the corner at a bar? Which is pretty, which is pretty brazen, you know? You go to a bar, and you're cheating with somebody on somebody who you've been with for five years. You would think you would go to, like, some, some private location. Go to his apartment, at least. What? I don't My friend saw you. About. Hello, Ashley. Ashley, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, what do you have to say? So, Eric, I mean, I'm sorry. Ashley, you've never screwed around with this Eric guy. This guy's just your friend. Well, yeah, we're, we're right just... Right there, right there, the hesitation. Yeah. There should be no hesitation. Right. <laughs> Ashley, have you ever done anything that... Oh, let's put it this way. Have you ever done anything with Eric that you wouldn't do right in front of Chris's face? Well, yes or no? I made a couple mistakes. Screw you, Ashley. No. Screw you. Answer the stupid question. I'm answering the stupid question, okay? I said I made a couple mistakes a few months ago, and I've always known that you're the one I want to be with, and I realized it was a mistake, and I stopped it right away. Yeah, you stopped it right away. Is that why last week people saw you? He was trying to, to bring that back around again, and I told him that it can't happen because I love uh, you. Hold on. No, wait, hold on. Bro, Ashley, so let me ask you a question. I hear it was happening. Ashley, let me ask you a question. So he said it happened like last week that you guys were making out. Did you find the ring and know that Chris was going to propose to you before or after? Like, did, did you find the ring before or after you were making out with this Eric guy? Before or after? I met with this and tell him that if he You're kept disgusting. trying to keep You're it disgusting. going, I could never see him again. <laughs> <laughs> You cheated. What kind of people are we? You what cheated. Kind of people are we? Ashley, happy Valentine's Day, baby. <laughs> yeah, well, you weren't listening anyway. You weren't, you weren't even a listener. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Ashley, Ashley, thank you, Ashley. Oh, she hung up. <laughs> Chris, are you okay, buddy? Well, I'm, I'm not, I don't know if I'm okay, but I'm glad that I know now. Yeah, no kidding. Well, you knew anyway. Just you know, God, how long have you guys been living together? Uh, about three years actually. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. And it it's all out this way. come to an end. Yeah. Uh, you know what have we learned? You can't. Uh, you can't trust any time a woman says that the guy is a friend, because the guy certainly yeah. wants to make it more. You fun. know, I've heard this before. An emotional friend. Chris, do you have any regrets? You feel? I mean, you're okay. You know I'm going to be fine. No, right. no regrets. I just want to make I mean, sure. No, I'm, I'm glad that I know. To be honest, I was a little hesitant, man, because... Well, maybe you go to the next singles mingle with the Frico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. All right, Chris. Uh, I... Bro, that is rough, man. That is some crazy shit. Damn. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. Uh... Let me also know in the comment section down below any other videos you guys want to see from me. Uh, Twisms.